Chainsaw Man at Universal Studios at Halloween, I think. They released a new image. So, I haven't drawn Chainsaw Man in so long. There's been no news about an anime or anything. So, cool stuff happening in the manga. I'm on a landscape page. Use a pencil, use an eraser. Hit pause, we'll go too fast. We're going to start with his head. And it's quite small because the chainsaw goes like high up. So I will zoom in to his head, which is a bit small here. Okay. We're probably going to just start with his mask. Right. Yeah, so we'll go. We shall go. This way, so we'll go diagonal down. Okay, it's kind of a, a bit of a turn there, so we'll go that way and then down. But you could go straight if you want, it wouldn't make much of a difference. And he's got these wings at the back, so it's kind of like square on the end, and then it comes up and then around. Two sort of bumps, and then we'll go that way, and then it goes in towards where the chainsaw sticks out of his forehead. Here, okay, and so like there's kind of an edge line or something here, and then down along here. So then his eye has four sort of black gaps or something one two three four right and they get smaller as we go down so say like kind of look like candy canes sort of shape and of course he's got like a glowing eye inside there Okay, so that's like black in there and then there's like there's like an elliptical circle and it's kind of digitally sort of done with like glowing yellow so we could just maybe mark it out a bit that way maybe it's a bit bigger actually i'll put it in two because uh, i've made it like a bit small you could go bigger and hit three of them, but we'll just go for two. And there's like a, there's all these sort of scratches and stuff in his mask and everything, dirt and scratches. So the chainsaw comes right out from the middle, and then so say we'll go curving this way, right? And the chainsaw starts here. So this is like the inside sort of metal part. And I think the blade comes out from like the bottom, like somewhere in here. So we'll just start it and then, okay. I'll come back to that, but that's sort of the direction. Like a ruler might be helpful for that because it goes like all the way up there. It might curve a little bit though. We we'll just do the other side of his orange helmet curving down this way and then the inside and then he's got all those teeth way so it's quite dark in there okay well there's a handle back here it's been a while since i drew chainsaw man but so the handle like here 
and then like all these gaskets and pipes and stuff. We seem to have just like teeth, right? So like each of these bumps will be a tooth, like a real long spiky tooth. Okay, so like down from there we have like big like icicle like teeth, right? Like like ridiculously big teeth. And down this way. And we'll just like keep adding them. And I guess this should be like a sort of a gum line in here then, like kind of textured. It looks like it's textured. You could do it just black maybe if you wanted. And then his bottom teeth and then his bottom jaw. So like his mouth is open wide, right? With his tongue sort of flowing this way. And his tongue goes down in behind his teeth on the bottom. So, big spiky, we'll start here. So there's a big spiky tooth here. All right, so that's one, and then there's another one here, and they go around. This way and they're kind of tighter together here and then we can see just like the side of his mouth and then the rest of that tongue sort of disappears down here It's just like the back of his throat or something in here, so it's all wrinkly and skin. And then he's got like these like chains or something that like hold his mouth together. Basically coming down this way. some on this side too. Okay. So then his bottom chin sort of area is like a big V. Sticking out here. And then there is a dark section sort of coming around the bottom. And then it's got like some extra sort of lines on it, like this sort of thing. And then we got like some stuff just on the side of the head, maybe with these sort of vents and stuff like that. Yeah, maybe like his shirt starts there, sort of. Okay, so, kind of a harder 
head to draw because it's kind of turned sideways like this. Now, so this chain is going to like, this chain saw is going to go right up to like, it'll curve around up here, like the, the top of it. It's like exaggerated length on it, right? So it like curves and then it'll come down into like this. So we go. This way, we curve slightly because of our perspective, so a ruler might help actually. Okay, so maybe just straighten it up a little bit. Okay, so. The rest of this chainsaw, so we'll just follow this kind of. Shape and we'll just curve around, right? Now this is kind of the easiest way to draw a sort of moving chain. So you just go follow the shape around, right? And it's kind of like sketchy because, you know, it isn't movement, right? So it's like buzzing through the air. We'll just follow this then. Right, and then outside of all this, you'll do like this sort of all this sort of air movement, right? So kind of like, maybe even on the thing itself, you know? Okay. And there's like textures and stuff and scratches on the chainsaw metal itself. Okay. So, let's try and just clean these up a bit. Okay, so let's try his body now. So, and arms. So his collar then, coming down here, just around his neck. Just standard shirt color. Right, and like his button that comes across the top and then a tie. And he'll have like um, necklines just in here. And they have like textures on them. And then the tie flows off sort of this way somewhere. Down here. Bit of a back part as well. And the center line for his shirt. Wavy. With buttons. Another one. 
up here maybe. Right, so then shoulder up and down that way. And it's got a bit of a rip on this side, so just like a jaggedy sort of ripped shirt there. And then like his torso goes down here. Just all these bumping shirt lines. You know, like fabric all being pulled, top of his shirt. And he's got a pocket here. And then his arm comes around this way. He's got all these fold lines on his arm for the shirt. And then this way. Curves around. Okay, so he's got four arms. Surprise, surprise. And they go out and down goes off my page can't see his hands right and then the chainsaw on this arm goes that way and then this one goes that way and another so you got like a light gray and dark gray two different colors and then the other side of his forearm there and again like little sort of movements the wind wind lines and then the forearm on this side again what we can fit in on this chain going that way like that and you want like dirt and stuff on his shirt and blood you can do that too dripping off the chain so um, but that's it chainsaw man from universal studios key image hope it's helpful thanks for watching see you in the next one bye